Hi guys, this is the quick review about the stainless steel kitchen funnel with removable strainer filter. This is something rather unusual. Most people use either a funnel or a strainer, but sometimes you need that. Like uh, when I was making my kefir, uh, I'm, I was using smaller bottles and so I had to use a funnel and also a filter to filter out the um, kefir grains of course. So this is only $9.98, so about 10, 10 bucks um, with Amazon Prime and it is 5 inches in diameter, 4.5 inches high and it's made of heavy duty stainless steel and it is dishwasher safe that's very important so you have some more pictures here the uh, measurements and also you see how you can pull out the strainer um, that's very easy uh, if it's a little bit greasy inside you have to clean first or you have to grab a small towel or something like that it can be a little bit slippery uh, the thing here um, yeah they can be a little bit slippery so a little bit tricky to 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 pull out but apart from that it's it's not bad so you can also use it without the strainer of course so yeah I'm showing to you how I did that this is my configuration I'm always using the this is the um, bottle with milk and the kefir grains this is uh, the thing actually which I usually use um, yeah this is my, my finalized kefir to eat or drink and this is just the empty bottle and here you can see the different um, options here we have this um, the uh, funnel with the strainer and here we have only funnel and here we have the strainer a lot of people say we should only use plastic instead of metal uh, I think it's important to use stainless if you use use metal uh, at least you have to use stainless steel because uh, the big companies which are um, doing all the kefir, kefir stuff they are not using plastic of course because uh, yeah it, 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 it's not so good it can be a, a problem with uh, health issues on the long term because gives uh, scratches and it, 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 it's really difficult to clean so uh, if you want to prevent uh, bacteria and such things I think it's a little bit better to use stainless steel but um, yeah it depends on your preferences so yeah th this is it so I'm gonna start the video here you see of course the empty um, Starbucks bottle um, yeah I, I just the I'm using that because it's it has a really nice shape it has a large opening uh, on top and it it's not very wide at the bottom so it fits easily to the fridge that's the biggest advantage of these um, Starbucks bottles because but, but of course they are not uh, very very big so you have to um, yeah uh, when you want to make larger um, amount of kefir which is actually recommended you have to use other bottles but this is good so you see uh, yeah I, I, uh, I was talking too much so you can see yeah here uh, again you see how you usually have to do you it's a little bit tricky to use the um, strainer and the funnel at the same time especially with one hand when you have to hold it on the left side and on the right side you want to pour out the existing kefir milk so I think it, 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 it's quite some advantage when you have one piece only one piece that has the strainer and the funnel in one one thing one piece 
so yeah you see it easily fits to almost any model so I pour in the milk with the key for grain so I don't know why the movie stopped I try to continue um, yeah maybe let's make a break okay so yeah you see it's quite big so it um, yeah you can pull very fast the milk and at the end you will see that you can easily find and retrieve the kefir grains from that so the holes are uh, quite small so n n none of the grains will um, go into the milk which you then drink or whatever you do so yeah here you have the grains no problem at all that was very easy so and of course we put them back to the new bottle I have uh, already filled in the uh, yeah that was the the fresh milk uh, which I put into the room for maybe two hours to have uh, yeah I don't know if it's good to use the cold milk I actually have never issues but I wanted to be sure that um, we have only the uh, warm milk for the fre uh, for the for, for the for the next for the for the uh, yeah for the next batch because kefir grains can be quite uh, temperature sensitive so yeah I wanted just to make sure that it's on the right temperature already so yeah actually so I'm using this I hope you can see oh I yeah that's sorry uh, my fault so I go back to this where I will show you the lid uh, yeah uh, instead of um, yeah just paper tower with a rubber band or something like that uh, I was uh, drilling some very small holes into the lid uh, so uh, any um, thing can uh, evaporate uh, I think when you put it into the fridge it can produce much power much uh, pressure uh, in the bottle so yeah you better have something where uh, the pressure can release so I, I was using that so um, it was never a problem with uh, some small holes it worked really well for me so actually that's it that's not much more about that it was mainly it was not so much about the kefir if you uh, need more information about kefir there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of other videos on the internet this was more actually the uh, detailed review about the funnel with the um, yeah, strainer built-in strainer so that replaces these two piece thing uh, yeah overall I'm I'm really happy with that I'm still using that I never had any any issues it looks good it's it's perfect it ha has not changed color so I think it's really stainless steel uh, how it was promised uh, no issue at all I don't use this combination anymore this is really nice and uh, yeah for most of the things it will probably work so yeah I hope I was able to help you a little bit if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe and thanks for watching anyway see you next time